Welcome to the country. So today's video, I want to give you guys an update on what's been going on with the deer. Haven't shown the deer much lately uh, since uh, we kind of sold all the deer off or sold most of the deer off and uh, the rut's coming around and it's really not a lot to show with the deer this time of year. But we do have a couple things going on and I wanted to uh, just share with you guys. Uh, if you've been following along, you'll know that we decided to sell about 90% of the deer and we ended up keeping four adult does and two little fawns and then our breeder buck, which is buckshot. So um, unfortunately we have had some issues in the past couple weeks. Uh, I came home from work one afternoon and uh, found Diamond had uh, passed sometime during the night. That was about two weeks ago. So don't really know what, uh, what her deal was. I, I think she had pneumonia, but I just didn't catch it in time and we ended up losing Diamond. And about a week later, uh, I found Nina this, kind of the same way. Uh, she was in the pen, she was down, she was um, suffering from a real bad case of bottle jaw, which tells me that she was anemic. I loaded her in the pickup, I rushed her to the vet, got her some treatment, and I've had her here in the trailer uh, ever since then, trying to nurse her back to health. So what I wanted to do today is just uh, open the trailer up, I'm gonna feed her, and just uh, give you kind of an update on her and let you know what's going on. So let me get, uh, let me get the trailer door open and see if she'll get up for us and, and eat. <laughs> you guys adjusted here where you can see hey Nambo you hungry sweetheart you hungry baby so she's been in here for about a week now. We've been uh, treating her for her, what we can only expect or what the vet said was liver flukes. Uh, she didn't have any worms in her, in her uh, stool sample, but she did have uh, uh, a low uh, protein in her blood, which is, was causing her bottle jaw, which has really gotten better in the last uh, two or three days. But she's really weak. She's really uh, she's really thin. She lost a lot of weight, and we're just trying to get her back to health. Keep her in the trailer here. Got her blocked from the wind. Trying to keep her as warm as possible. Got her laying on some hay there so she's comfortable, and just trying to uh, to get her back on her feet. So what I've got here in the bowl. This is some Nilla wafers, some wheat bread, and some potatoes. Um, so she's really been uh, really picky about what she's wanting to eat. She also eats apples really well. So I'm going to set this down and see if I can just let her get up on her own and uh, get something to eat here. Come on, baby. Here you go. Can you get up, hon? Oh, yeah. Come on, hon. There you go. Good job, baby. Let me get, get you guys adjusted where you're level there. So that bottle jaw, um, I really didn't want to film it for you guys when she was at her worst. I didn't want to show it, but that bottle jaw has almost completely gone away, which is just um, just some fluid that, that builds up under their chin when they get anemic. She's had diarrhea for several months that we've been trying to treat. Uh, she's still not 100% with that, but her, her uh, stool has hardened up. It's not to the level where you think deer would be with, uh, with the pellets, but it has hardened up quite a bit. So that's getting better. Everything seems to be getting better. Just taking it one day at a time with her. 
So just a little backstory with her, if you're new here. Uh, Nina is the first deer that we've ever that we ever bought. Uh, she started this whole deer venture um, back as uh, seven years ago. So she'll be eight come May. And Diamond, which is the one that we lost, was the first fawn that we ever had born here. So Diamond was uh, Nina's first fawn. So we're um, really saddened by her loss. So we still have um, Nina here. We have Ruby. We have Topaz. We have Buckshot. We have a Groot son still here. And then we have one of uh, Diamond's fawns from this year, a little doe fawn that's still here. That's the deer we have left on the farm. So the good thing is she still has an appetite. That bottle jaw has really uh, went down. And I think she's kind of on the mend. We're going to keep her in the trailer here until she starts eating feed again. She's not um, she's not eating feed right now. She's um, Like I said, she's been really picky about what she's wanting to eat. And the vet told us to feed her whatever she'll eat. And if it's potatoes and apples, then it's potatoes and apples. So... Uh, wheat bread and Nilla wafers. I do have um, some alfalfa here for her that she can nibble on if she wants. And of course, she's got water in here. And then the, the hay there that she's laying on to help kind of insulate her from that cold, uh, cold floor of the trailer. Good job, sweetheart. Good job, baby. Looks like she's gonna eat it all. I've been um, been feeding her three or four times a day. She's not eating a lot at a time, so we got to keep her room and working. Let's see if we can get this girl better, huh, baby? If you guys could uh, find it in your hearts to. Pray for Nina to get better. I sure would appreciate it. I know she would too. I want to thank you guys for watching and we'll be back.